discuss on how we can solve for the mean of group data. So when we say group data, ito yung data natin na naka-arrange na using the frequency distribution table. Meaning, ito yung data na naka-interval na with a corresponding frequency. So actually, the formula for finding the mean of group data using the midpoint method is x bar, which is the mean, is equal to the summation of f and x divided by n. Our f stands for the frequency, x is our midpoint, then our n is the total number of observations or the total number of frequencies. So to see clearly this, let us have an example. So calculate the average daily income for 40 days on cross stitch trends of the arts and crafts shop. Okay. So here is the data. Nakarange na siya or nakipresent siya, na present siya using frequency distribution table. So the first step in solving for the mean using the midpoint method is to solve for the midpoint of each class interval. Ano ba yung tinatawag na midpoint? So in this formula, our midpoint stands for x. So like I have said a while ago, the first step is to solve for the midpoint. So since base sa ating formula, f yung frequency, gawin na lang natin itong f. Midpoint, midpoint is x. So ayan. So yung midpoint natin, x, is yung gitna ng kada interval. So lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So to get the midpoint of this interval, 118 to 126, just simply add 118 and 126, then divide it by 2. So you can use your calculator. 126 or 118 plus 126 is equal to 244 divided by 2. This is equal to 122. So our first midpoint is 120. So pwede din bilangin natin yung observation. 118, 119, 120. 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, and 126. So, ibig sabihin, from 118 to 126, meron tayong 9 na observation or value. So, since 9, add ang number ng observation or values, ang gitna niya is yung nasa pang 5. 118, 19, 20, 122. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yung nasa panglima. So, yung 122 natin is nasa panglima observation or data. So, since nasa panglima, nag-add lang actually ng 4 para makuha yung ating midpoint na 122. So, therefore, yung magiging kasunod na midpoint, nag-add lang ng 4. So, 127 plus 4 is 131. So, you can check 127 plus 135 divided by 2. So 137 or 127 plus 135 divided by 2, really 131. So next, midpoint, matanda lang tayo ng 4. So 136 plus 4 is 140. 145 plus 4, 149, right? 154 plus 4, we have 159. So 163 or 158, sorry, this is 158. So 163 plus 4, we have 167, 172 plus 4, 176. So, yan yung ating mga midpoint. So, let's check. Plus 4, 122, 131, 140, 149, 158, 167, and 176. So, next step. Next step is to find the product of F and X. Kunin natin yung product ng F and X. So, di ba sa ating formula, summation of F and X. Kunin natin yung product ng F and X. So, 
2 times 122, you can use your calculator, 2 times 122, we have 244. 4 times 131, we have 524. Then 5 times 140, 700. And 12 times 149, we have 1788. So next, 9 times 158, we have 1422. 5 times 167, we have 835. And lastly, 3 times 176, we have 528. So since nakuha na natin yung product ng F and X, base sa formula natin, you are going to solve for the summation of the product. So therefore, i-add lang natin yung nakuha natin mga product. So, 244 plus yan, plus yan, plus yan, plus yan, plus yan, plus yan. So, para makuha natin yung summation of Fx. So, 244 plus 524 plus 700 plus 1,788 plus 142 plus 835 plus 528, we have 6,041. So, since nakuha na natin yung summation ng Fx, pwede na tayong mag-substitute sa ating formula. Summation of Fx, F of X, or summation of Fx rather, we have 6,041 divided by N. Our N is 40, since ito yung total number of frequency. So, 6,041 divided by 40. 6,041 divided by 40, we have 151.025. So, since peso yung ating pinag-uusapan, you can round off this answer or, or result. So, finally, we have 151.03 pesos. So, therefore, we can say that the average daily income for 40 days on cross-stitch threads on the arts and crafts shop is 151.03 pesos.